Today we're going to be designing our own bakery logo. The materials you'll need will be a piece of paper, a pencil, the water cup from your art kit, or just something round to trace, and something to color with. I'll also be using a Sharpie and an eraser. You don't have to use these two things, but I like to use them for a black outline around my design and to erase my pencil lines. The first thing you're going to do is take your water cup and flip it over so it's the larger circle. And we're just going to trace a circle on your paper. Next, I'm going to draw a ribbon as a part of my logo. To draw a ribbon, I'm going to draw two horizontal straight lines and they're going to be parallel. Remember, parallel means they go in the same direction. And then I'm going to draw two vertical lines to close it off. And so now I've created a very skinny rectangle. And I'll draw two really short vertical lines again underneath. Draw a diagonal line on each side connecting to the rectangle two horizontal lines that are also parallel on both sides. And then we're going to finish off the ends of the ribbon. So to do that, you're going to draw diagonal lines meeting in the middle, and they kind of create a point. And here you have your ribbon. To finish it off so that the ribbon looks like it's in front of the circle, we're going to take our eraser and just erase the line where the circle was. Now we're going to write in the name of the bakery above the circle, and we're going to do it so that it curves along the shape of the circle. So decide any name you want to name your bakery and go ahead and write the letters on top of the circle. And I like to turn my paper as I'm writing each letter so it looks like it's following the shape of the circle. Now we're going to draw a symbol or an object above the ribbon line. It can be anything you want, any picture that you want. I'm going to pick a donut because I want that to be a part of my logo design. But remember, this is your design. So use anything you want. Use your own artistic style. Be unique. It doesn't even have to be a food. You can think about how would you design your own logo, your own brand, and what kind of picture would you want to put in it. Next, we're going to add a slogan inside the ribbon. And a slogan is a catchy phrase that businesses will use to let the customer know what they're selling. It's usually very short, so try not to make it too long. But think of something that you really want to communicate to your customer about the product. In this case, it's the donuts or whatever we're selling in our bakery. Next, I'm going to add an established year to my logo design. You don't have to do this. I just like to add it in there so that it looks like it's a real logo. But go ahead and add any finishing touches to your design, anything else that you want to add in pencil before you start coloring. At this point, you can start coloring your logo design, or you can take a black Sharpie or a black marker and trace over your pencil lines to make the design really pop out. You don't really need to do this part. I just like to do it because it makes it easier to see and easier to color. But if you don't want to do this part, you can just skip it and go straight to coloring. You did use a black Sharpie to trace over the pencil lines. Make sure you use an eraser and carefully erase all of the pencil marks. That way they don't show up before you start to color. After you have finished coloring your logo design, you can either take a pair of scissors and just cut it out since it's on a bigger piece of paper, or I just like to fold it to make it easier. And just like when you're folding origami, make sure you're creasing it, pressing down very hard with your fingernail to give it a nice sharp, clean edge so it looks flat. And I just like to fold it to the size that I want to. 
You don't have to do it this way. You can just use scissors and cut it out, but this is just another step so that you don't have to use your scissors. And in the next video, I'm going to show you how to make an origami sign holder for the bakery sign that you just made.